All right, guys, welcome to uh, In His Grip, and welcome to, um, we're going to be in Jeremiah, studying chapters 17 through 23. Uh, sorry if it's a little echoey in here, but uh, I just got back into my house after two and a half months of being um, out with a, a big leak, so I don't have any uh, carpets down or any of my uh, artwork on my wall, so it's a little echoey, but hey, I want to thank uh, Scotty and Joey and Steve just before me with uh, their awesome wisdom and, and the way they get after it. Guys, if you like what you hear, click the like button down there. If you want to comment, uh, fire up a comment. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, if you're looking for a life group, man, we are growing like crazy. So hopefully there's something in your area or something coming, coming to you very soon. All right, we're in Jeremiah and I'm in chapter 17 and the two verses that rose up for me were verses 9 and 10. But before that, I'm going to read a little blurb out of my Bible called, uh, it's the introduction to Jeremiah. It says, Jeremiah prophecies in the kingdom of Judea as Jerusalem is being destroyed and God's people are being carried away into Babylon. Uh, because of their sins. It is a time of judgment and of suffering for all the people and for Jeremiah personally. But Jeremiah also cites God's promise of restoration in 70 years, assuring the people of the coming new covenant. As you read this book, remember that sin has its consequences, but also that through Jesus, your mediator, God's last word is forgiveness and eternal life. So that's my Bible introducing Jeremiah. So uh, Jeremiah 17, nine and 10 reads, the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to re reward a man according to his conduct, according to what his deeds deserve. I reveal, trusting your heart is another way of trusting man. Jeremiah noted how the evil heart of the people of Judea led them astray. Our hearts often deceive us. What we desire is not often what we need. The heart can be deceitful above all things. The heart is not only deceitful, but also wicked. Many have been led to rebellion, disobedience, and great sorrow by following their heart. The saying, follow your heart, is poor advice when the heart is desperately wicked. People who have wicked hearts may not even know it. God knows the heart and mind of man. His judgment is true. He knows to what extent the heart either justifies or condemns the doings of man of a man or woman. God knows all. My implementation, follow Jesus, not your heart or emotions. Wait, be patient for him to reveal to you his plan before you act inappropriately. My prayer. Lord, in all your way, protect me from my own heart and allow me to trust in you 100% of the time. Guys, it's all through Jeremiah and the way that these, these, uh, these people trusted in the wrong thing, uh, the other idols, but their heart and, and just things that uh, wasn't, of, um, wasn't of Christ. So we can see how we can get in trouble. All right, guys, let's pray it out. <clears throat> Lord, uh, thank you for uh, allowing uh, us to trust in you, not in our hearts. Let us uh, all pause and think before we do something based on what we feel in our heart, Lord. Let, let it be truly from you and, and not from just a reaction or for something we feel in our hearts, Lord. Let you guide our lives and let you be with us 100% of the time. Lord, we do all this in your name. Amen. Guys, see you in the morning with chapter 18.